see a lot of people set New Year's resolutions around fitness and transforming their body. They join a gym in January, only to quit around February, March time. So I'm just going to go through some reasons why this is and how you can avoid the three critical mistakes that I see people make when they're setting New Year's resolutions. So the first thing is that people don't know what they're doing. They kind of join a gym, you can pay as you go, or you can go as many times as you can in a week, and there's no real structure. There's no real plan, there's no advice. And the main thing that has helped me in my life with business and with sport and with getting in shape is having a trainer or having a coach. So it's really important that you even reach out to a friend who knows what they're doing or you go to a gym who can provide you with a program or with uh, coaching, guidance and support. And if you do that, then you're gonna stay on track. If you don't do that, then you're just gonna end up where you've been in the past frustrated, not knowing what to do every time you go to the gym, and ultimately giving up. The second thing is having a team around you, having a training partner, or an accountability buddy, or someone who's going to push you and motivate you, and has the same goals as you. So you either go and join a gym that has a team uh, atmosphere, or you get a good friend who's going to hold you accountable, and when you want to quit, they pull you back in. Set goals with them, and push forwards. And thirdly, the most important thing, is that you're actually taking the right action with nutrition and training. So many people I speak to week in, week out, who want to come into our programs are doing nutrition and they're doing training and they're working hard but they are not seeing results and it can be incredibly frustrating. I know that when I was younger I was trying to uh, get stronger for rugby and I wanted to get bigger and I, all the other guys were growing taller and being heavier than me and more muscular and I really struggled to actually develop the strength the conditioning and the muscle size needed to play rugby and ultimately that's why I went into strength and conditioning and fitness coaching and now body transformations because um, I wanted to make sure that I was actually doing the right thing because for so long I struggled and didn't know what I was doing. So you have to take effective action. So those three things just to summarize are you must get coaching, you must have a team around you or some support around you and you must be taking direct effective action. Make sure you're doing those things. If you haven't, grab our free report, The Ultimate Body Transformation Blueprint, the link's just below this video, and we can talk you through every single step and how you can make 2016 your best year yet.